The fact is that the digital ink is in the water. The consumer no longer has a digital life and an analog life, no more than you can explain to an 18-year-old what the difference between broadcast and cable is. It's just TV to them. So what the getting digital right means is understanding where it fits throughout the communications value chain. Sometimes that's making up for lost reach that has changed because of the decline in audiences in other areas. Sometimes it's very, very specific in terms of laser-focused target audiences and niches. Sometimes it's about understanding what the creative demands are of the new platform because the media side of digital has become an almost perfect mechanism for mandolin slicing of audiences. But the manufacturing side, the creative side, is way behind the media side in terms of mandolin slicing of messaging to make the fullest use of that opportunity. I think it's velocity is what keeps people up at night. It's the fear of doing something so quickly because you feel the need to respond to an opportunity and because of doing it so quickly did you get it right and are you judged as a result of failing because you made the effort to do it quickly and get it right and at Facebook there's signs all over the place that say will fail fast and break things and all of those kinds of things and we do have to do that we do have to fail fast and break things but what we need to do is before we just do stuff for the sake of newness, we have to understand what objective we're trying to achieve in the business. And if we can be articulate about that, and if we can be thoughtful about that potential of that platform, of that idea to meet that objective, then the way people judge us will be different. And my sense is that sometimes people don't think hard enough about what it is that they're trying to do before they rush to execute. The other aspect about speed is this. The first thing you need to think about when you innovate is if I move really fast to be first and people desire firsts, does being first create a persistent competitive advantage rather than a headline or an advantage that lasts a week? If you don't think it creates a persistent competitive advantage, then you can wait and you can be more thoughtful because one of the characteristics of digital media broadly is a much less constrained supply of inventory with which to do business with people than has existed in, in print or television historically. For people who want to get digital right, the first thing is understand your consumer journey. How does your consumer touch your brand? and how many of those touch points are digital. What is the relative value of each of those digital touch points compared to the other touch points in the brand? How can you think about attributing success or failure to each of those touch points and the applications you build against each of those touch points? And never forget that despite the deluge of digital data, the world is still full of white space. People make many decisions subconsciously. They don't tweet every thought they have. They don't post every thought they have on Facebook. They don't leave the digital fingerprint trail on everything. And so some of the more established methods of marketing measurement, like econometric modeling and so forth, still play a huge part in how you need to think about this. But the message is, if you want to create a symphony, then you have to use all of the instruments and you have to use them selectively in order to produce the sound you want to do and know what those sounds are in combination. And that's the key to getting it right in digital. The Digital CMO Summit is a terrific effort by Millward Brown. Millward Brown is grounded in real data, grounded in digital data, and I guess outside of a Google or a Facebook, and in some ways more so, knows more about consumers' digital behaviors than any company in the world. I think that what that enables 
the people that attend the Digital CMO Summit to have is a great deal of confidence that the program is built and rooted in data, that the speakers that they will hear are data and information centric and that it will help them ultimately as they develop new programs are pushed by their businesses to do more and do more quickly in digital it will help them build confidence in communicating with the boards and other stakeholders and in their companies that their digital strategy is grounded in real business effect